Hello guys, so welcome back to our lecture 17. We're gonna now solve another example, okay? So in the first example, we have here uh, a current source. This current source in the same branch of IB, so basically IB is known. Now we replace this current source with a resistor here, okay? More than 400 kilo ohms. And why it's so big? Because basically IB is usually very small, very small. Okay, so to, to design a circuit without a current source, because the current source is really complicated, it's a, it's a circuit, it's a, it's a complex circuit, it's so not that easy to, to make a current source. Okay, so we replace usually the current source with very big, you know, uh, resistors. So let's now try to solve this circuit. Okay, so uh, Again, we're gonna use the equivalent circuit model for the transistor. I mean, we remove the transistor and put its equivalent circuit, okay? And again, this guy is working in the active region. So we're gonna use the same equivalent circuit of the active region. So we have the base, we have the collector, and we have the emitter. In the active region, we have uh, a forward on junction between the base and the emitter, and here is ZBE. One of our unknowns, our unknowns is ZBE and BCE, just like it's the same, exactly the same example, just replace the current source with a resistor. Then between the, the collector and the, bay, the emitter, we have IC note, which is IS exponential VBE over VT. VT is 20, 25 millivolt. Uh, going into the base is IB, going into the collector is IC, going out of the emitter is IE. And we, then we connect the rest of the circuit. Between the collector and the five volt, the source VCC, we call usually the highest voltage in our circuit VC or the source in our circuit VCC, there is a resistor. So we're gonna create here, you know, any node, we call it five volt, and we connect RC between the collector and this five volt. Then between the base and the same five volt, another resistor RB. No need to make another, uh, to connect to the same node, although it's the same node. You can just create a replica, we can say, of this node, and it's again five volt. And we know from, from our circuit theory, whenever you have two nodes in the circuit, same voltage, they are connected. Okay. So, and the emitter is basically connected to the ground. Okay. IB is unknown. IC is unknown. Okay. So let's see how we're gonna do that. How we're gonna solve the circuit to get VC and VBE. So what we only need to do is to write the equations. So, we know that <clears throat> IC, which is flowing in that branch, equal to five minus VC, this is VC, over RC. Okay. Uh, we know also that IC is equal to IS exponential VBE over VT. So from that, we can say that VBE is equal to VT len IC over IS. How about IB? So we know that from here, IB is equal to five, see flowing in that branch. So it's equal to this node minus this node over RB, five minus VB over RB. Remember VE is equal to zero. So from that VBE is equal to VB. So we can say that IB, equal to five minus VBE 
over RB. And that's really good now because from here, remember that IC is equal to beta IB. So we can replace IB with its equivalent equation. So this is beta five minus VBE over RB. Look, this equation is, has two unknowns, IC and VBE. And this equation, again, two unknowns, IC and VBE. So if we uh, solve them together, we can get IC and VBE, okay? Once we get IC, we can get VCE because remember VC again, since VE is equal to zero, VCE is also equal to VC. So let's call this one, let's call this two by solving one and two together, we get IC and VBE. VBE is our first unknown. Then from I C in equation three, let's call this three, we get V C V C E, our second unknown. That's basically the you know the way to do it. But wait a minute here. If we look at one and two, equation one and equation two, equation two is linear. You know it's a linear uh, linear. So equation two. is linear. That's good. Yes, that's good, really. Equation one, look, it's len. It's non-linear. It's non-linear. That's not good. Yeah, that's not. We cannot solve them together in a, in a, in a, in a standard form, like what we used to do. Like for example, multiply equation by by constant, then subtract them from each other. We cannot do that. This is a linear, or this is a way to solve linear equations together. But we have now one, or one of them is nonlinear. So what we're gonna do? Just like what we did with the diode, iterative solution. So we need. to solve equation one and two iteratively. Just like what, what we did with the diode. VBE is like VD, the diode voltage. IC is like ID, the diode current. So exactly the same way. We're gonna assume some value, initial value for VBE, which is VD. And we used to do that like 0.7. Right? Then we calculate IC, then go back, you know, in a loop, iterations after iteration until we stop at some point after some, after reaching some very small error. So we're gonna have two columns, okay? VBE in one column and IC in another column. And we're gonna have initial value for VBE Let's put 0.6, these, yeah, you know, these uh, uh, circuits, usually VBE is between 0.6 and 0.8. It's not, uh, it's good to assume 0.6 all the time because it's not 0.7, you know, it's not like the diode, the diode usually really 0.7, but here it is the error a little bit around 0.7 is bigger. So it's good to assume 0.6, 0.6. Okay, and let's do four decimal point. We, you can choose or you can, you know, for example, if the problem says, okay, stop when uh, three decimal places are not a changing, then you just stick to that. But I am gonna do here four decimal places. So the operation is like the, is like, is like the following. First, we gonna substitute in equation uh, two, this one, so we have VBE 0.6, then we get IC. Once we get IC, we go and substitute 
in equation one, that would be basically the flow, to get the next value of VB, then you, then you uh, repeat them. Equation two, equation one, equation two, equation one, and so on. So let's do that, you know, online, okay? Using some online calculator. So here is the first equation, okay? Let's look at it. So it's beta, 100, multiplied by five, minus VBE. VBE initially is 0 0.6 over RB, and the RB is 431 kilo ohms, okay? And here is equation two in the second line here. Equation two is basically uh, VT, which is 25 millivolt, ln uh, IC over IS. IS in the example is 10 to the power minus 15 amperes. So remember to convert this into milliamperes. So we're gonna multiply by 1000 because IC is in milliamperes. Good. So we're gonna start by our initial value 0.6. So this will give us IB, uh, IC, uh, with, which is 1.0208. Uh, We're gonna take four decimal places, so 1.0208. Uh, this is four decimal places, okay? Good, then we're gonna take this value here and put it here. So calculate, this is equation one now, equation one, as you see guys here. Okay, this will give us this value for uh, when we substitute by IC equal to 1.0208. This will give us VBE, which is 0 0.691. Look, it was 0 0.6, now it's 0 0.691. It's a big, big change. 0 0.691. Okay, now we're gonna again repeat the process. Take this value and substitute, substitute in equation two, which is that one. So here it's really easy, just to copy and paste in the online, you know, uh, calculator here. Oh, this will give us, you know, uh, this value for I, uh, IC. 9.9. Okay, milliampers. It's approximately one. Okay, good. Then we repeat the process. We take this value and you know substitute in equation one. Equation one. This is equation one. Here. And this will give us this value mine point six nine oh seven. Okay. Then we repeat the process again. So 6907, this will give us this value, 9998. Then we take this 9998, basically we just want to change here. Yes, we have reached, you know, the same number. Look, 0.6907, no change. Here is, there is no change here. Let's write that, no change. Okay, so we should stop. And this will be our final uh, value. Not sure how to do that. Yeah, home, yes. For VBE. And this will be our final value for IC. Look, from our pre previous example, I see was one million. Let's get it. One million amperes. Look, guys, one million amperes. This value here. Okay. And now look, it's 9998. Really close. I said that in the beginning, these two circuits basically are equivalent. I just replaced the current source with a resistor because I said that, you know, Dealing with current source, designing a practical current source in the lab is really hard. It's not that easy. It's not that simple, basically. Okay, but there is ways, of course, to do that. Using transistors, by the way. But it's not our topic now. Okay? So if you can replace it with, with, with a resistor, that will be very good. You will, you, will, you will save a lot of design effort. 
And that's what we have done. Also, the analysis become very hard or, or not that easy. You know, you need a calculator, you need to make, uh, you know, some uh, iterations in order to get to the final or final, final uh, numbers. Basically, if we look here, this is basically exactly, exactly the same as the number we get here, 0 0.607, exactly the same, okay? So we can expect that VC will be approximately also uh, 2,000 millivolt or two volt, if we just continue. Okay, guys, that was basically how to solve uh, transistor circuits using the iterative solution and the exponential model. As we see, it's a cumbersome. Uh, it's really, it's not that uh, it's not that hard, but it's not that easy. Okay, and we need you know some uh, models, more approximate models we can say, so that we can solve such a question or such such a circuit in a, in an easier way. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching this video and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.